a gift from Vince the Crew Chief. This is a rechargeable LED light that just plugs straight into a socket. And uh, I thought it'd be interesting to take this apart, so I'm going to unplug it. This is just jammed into a square pin socket at the moment. And the charging pins retract into it. And, it, well, it charges off the mains, and then it's just bluey white LEDs. Let's take a look inside it. So the end bay it caps off, and we can see the circuit board of the LEDs in what looks suspiciously like a uh, lead acid battery in here. Hmm, I need a screwdriver. One moment, please. I have a screwdriver. You may notice a difference to the appearance and the sound of the video. Uh, that is because I'm travelling with work. Ooh, that took you apart a bit. Ease now is expecting. Oh, there is the bit we're interested in. It is a lead acid battery. And here is the circuit board. Does it have a discharge resistor? Yes, I think it does. Uh, let's test that then, shall we? Yes, it's got a discharge resistor. I've just stuck my fingers across it. Okay, right. Let's uh, take a picture of the circuit board and get a good close-up look at this. One moment, please. Reverse engineering is complete. Let's explore. No great surprises. It's based on a capacitive dropper with this one microfarad capacitor with its discharge resistor, a discrete four diode bridge rectifier based on one N4007 diodes, and a charge monitor LED, which has its own 330 ohm resistor here. If we take a look at the back of the circuit board, you can see a fairly sensible arrangement here. I'm being careful to center this because I know there is a lot of glare from the sides. We've got the capacitor at the bottom here with its discharge resistor across it. We've got the discrete bridge rectifier here, and there's the resistor in the series, the LED. And noting the AC comes on here, uh, AC comes on here and goes through the capacitor, and there's the battery negative and the battery positive. Let's take a look at the schematic, and I'll also show you the battery and the LED module. I think I can zoom down on this. I can zoom down on that. Can't tell if it's square. Very cramped uh, recording conditions at the moment because of work. So here's the incoming AC supply. I'll just double check that loud creaking noises from this cheap seat that is about to explode into pieces when I, I sit in it one day. Uh, there's a 400 volt capacitor. There's its discharge resistor. Here's a bridge rectifier straight to this Sealed lead acid battery, it's a little two cell one, and that uh, then is the output switched via this little switch here, which is a multi way switch, but only one position's been used. I wonder if they've got other products they use it with. And that goes to a parallel circuit of seven LEDs with a 3.9 ohm resistor in series with them. Uh, the only other thing there is the charging indicator, which is that little flickery red LED and that 330 ohm resistor. And the reason it was flickery is because it's only lit for half the sine wave, and it's basically just a very simple arrangement so that it lights while the cell is charging, but uh, goes out when the uh, power is removed. And that is it. It's an interesting enough little light. Uh, I find these little sealed lead acid batteries in quite a lot of these cheap products, I guess. Maybe they're, it's because they're simpler and cheaper than using a lithium cell and also safer than using a lithium cell. Also, I'd guess I'll, that the uh, ban in lead in products means there's a glut of uh, lead-based batteries just because uh, the manufacturer has an incentive to make them cheap. But there we have it, Though that little uh, exotic um, plug-in rechargeable flashlight. Quite an interesting function device, but I'm not sure how long this cell would last, particularly with uh, continuous charging.